Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Welcome back. Uh, this is once again going to be a little bit of a different video than normal. Obviously, I'm not painting right now. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about what it means for me to be an artist. As you have probably discerned by now, I'm very, very, very passionate about art. It is so important to me. Um, obviously, my family is crazy important, you know. I have my usual, you know, life importances, but whereas some people don't have, um, you know, like a drive in life, they maybe go to their nine to five, they go home, they watch TV, they go to bed, you know, and that's normal for them and they don't really strive for anything better. I've never been that way. Um, to me, I always, always, always strive to be better. So I'm gonna kind of go over a bit of what it means to me to be an artist and why art is so important. So first of all, there's obviously the fact that it's what I'm passionate about. And I think that if anyone has a passion, the worst thing in the world that they can do is to disparage themselves and not reach for that goal and that passion. That's literally like the worst thing you can do because then Honestly, why are you even alive? <laughs> like, I hate to say it, but, you know, what's the purpose of life if you don't have something that just excites you or makes you passionate? And that passion could be your family. It could be your church. It could be your uh, bowling league. That's totally fine as well. Those are all completely valid passions. And you can obviously have more than one passion as well. You can have 10. You're allowed to have as many as you want, okay? Um, but a lot of artists specifically don't pursue their passion because they've been told for their whole lives that they can't do it. Art is not an actual career. They're not good enough. And then after a while, they begin to believe it themselves and they begin to tell themselves the same thing. And that's where everything just goes downhill. In any area, you're going to get people saying that you can't do it or you're not good enough or anything like that. And you'll be fine as long as you don't listen to them. It's when you actually start listening that you get into trouble. So that's the first thing. And honestly, anyone that puts down artists, take a good hard look at that person. That person is not a good person. I don't care what anyone else thinks on that subject. That is just a complete fact for me. Anyone putting down artists is just not a good person and you do not want to associate with those people. All right. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing is definitely, definitely follow your passion and don't put yourself down. Next is that art is intended, at least in my mind, to lift people up. That is why I create. It lifts myself up, it lifts others up, and that's why I teach. I teach because that also lifts other people up and that gets them to lift other people up, right? Though, I mean, I, I think big, okay? A lot bigger than a lot of people. A lot of people, they think this big. I think big. Like, it is completely real to me that we could change the entire world with art. Can you imagine, just for a second, imagine if everybody stopped during the day at some point and they just went and they painted for an hour. Painted, sang, danced, you know, wrote poetry, whatever. Created some form of art for an hour a day. Can you just think of that? Can you imagine what the world would be like like thinking about things like that actually makes me almost cry because I, I, I just think it would be amazing. So it is in my best interest to create as many artists as I can and to get people to believe in themselves. It, it, it is in my best interest as well as everybody else's. You know what I mean? So that is the other thing is encourage, encourage yourself, encourage other artists, and encourage people to do their passions and to create. Everybody can create something in some shape, form, way, anything. Everybody can create something 
And there's something that everybody is, there's a passion for everybody. Let's just put it that way. Um, even if it's, I don't know, <laughs> football or something. Not one of my passions, but I understand definitely some other people's passions and that's okay. Um, yeah, I think that a, probably about wraps up my philosophical <laughs> talk for today. Um, I, I definitely thank you for being patient and whatnot. I Sometimes I just get really inspired and I want to share a little more about myself and about my, my mission and my goal in life. And I just, I really want everybody to, to do what they love and to know that they can, in fact, do it and be successful. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, make sure you hit that notification button so that you're notified when I post a new video. And otherwise, we'll see you next time.